Welcome to the .NET office. In this video, we will discuss about spy on method and apart from that we will see how we do spy on to mocking and stub method in Angular unit test case. In the previous videos, we have seen a various Jasmine methods and we have seen how we utilize those into the Angular unit test case. So before proceeding with this video, I recommend you please watch previous video to understand better on the spy on. So let's see what is the spy on and what is the difference between spy on, mock and stub. So basically spy on is a Jasmine function that help us to mocking the execution of the Angular method. Means like if we have any method in the Angular component like save the data, or calculate something. So if we want to mock those functions, those angular function, then we use the spy on method. And apart from that, it is easy way to check whether the method is called or not called. For an example, like I have a method like save the data. Now I want to check from the angular unit test case side, like that particular method is called or not called. So how we can assure that thing. So we can do that using the spy on in a little bit we will see how we implement that functionality apart from that if we want to return some dummy data from particular method then we can do that also using the spy on and that has the one uh, another property or we can say the another method called return value that also we will see in a bit and another is the spy on can call the original function using and dot call through so this, this also we will see in a bit so these are the functionality we can do using the spy on now let's see what is the difference between the stub mocking and spy on methods so basically stub a dummy piece of code that lets uh, the test run but you don't care what happens to it now for an example like i have a method uh, save the data inside that method i'm calling another method like calculate numbers so while testing uh, angular unit like in the angular unit test case said while testing the saved data i don't want to do anything with the calculate data like the child uh, methods then what i can do i can use the stub method what it will do it will not care like what we are doing with that one another is the mock a dummy piece of code that you are verifying is called correctly as part of the test now for an example like I, I have a method and I want to identify that particular method is called or not that we can do uh, like that uh, called the mocking and spy is a dummy piece of code that intercept some calls to a real piece of code allowing you to verify calls without replacing the entire original object so that we will see in a bit so let's go to the visual studio code and let's see how we do all these things so so far what i have done i have created a one method that is calculate and what i am doing here is i am uh, taking two number number one and two and i am doing the sum and there is a one variable called sum that i have uh, defined up so i am assigning that value and i created a another method called save data and inside that what i have done i created one property and in that property i am assigning one is the sum value that basically calling the calculate method and another is the name so the name i have assigned it now next what i am doing this information i am saving into the console so here you can see down i created another method called save data into console so in the console i am saving that value and apart from that what i am doing i created one api so here you can see so this is the service I have created and the service name is the student service and inside that what I am doing I am posting that information like that same details. Now that method like that service method I am calling here and I am subscribing and whatever the response comes I am assigning that response into the result. So this result is the variable and there is a one more method I have created here and what this method is doing so that is the student result so that is the uh, independent uh, method and here what I am doing based on the numbers what I am doing I am returning either it is pass or fail 
so this function i have created one is the calculate save data student result and save it into the console so this method i have created and apart from that i created one service so as we know when we create the service into the app dot like a, that main method we assign into the provider so now let's come to the our uh, spec dot ts file here first what i am doing i am uh, like importing that service and this service i am assigning into the provider so here you can see i have uh, like uh, given it into the provider and apart from that like this basically we are doing using the http so this module we have to take into the import so these two things we have done because we are using the api that's why we are we have to do these two things now next let's write our test method so for writing the test method we know like we have to use the it and then we have to give the like this test case name so what i'm going to do give spy on method now what we have to do we have to create a function then arrow and inside this one what we have to do we have to write the logic now what we do spy on basically so spy on is used to mocking a particular function so here what i am going to do first first i am going to do mock this calculate method so how we can do that one so for that one first what we have to do we have to write spy on and inside this one you can see we have to give an object and then method name so object name what we have to do in the sense like we have to give the component so what is the component so basically it is an object if you will go up so it is an object of the student component because we are using the student component now next what we next what we have to do we have to give the method name so that method name we have to give in a string format so you can see like in this component we have these are the method so i am using the calculate method so this is the way we do the spy on now next what we have to do we have to component dot now from here what i am doing i am calling the save save data so if you will go here like in the save data we are calling the calculate method so now i want to check like expect component dot calculate dot to have been called means what i am doing so basically what we are doing we are calling this method and with this method what we are expecting we are expecting like this particular calculate method is called or not called because inside this one we are calling that calculate method and here what we are doing here we are mocking over the calculate so now let's uh, run the test case and see like currently there are two now it should be three test case should be succeed so this is the way like what we can do we can do the spy uh, over the method and now here we can see three succeed let's go to the browser and here we can see spy on method also now here you can see the spy on method so this is the way of like uh, doing the spy on particular method now le next let's create a another method so what i'm do going to do i'm going to just copy this one so we can do it fast and here i am going to write as a spy on method one now here what i am going to do so if you will go this particular calculate method return something now that i want to check here so now let's spy on over it and from here what i am going to do and dot return value so basically it is taking two parameter that's why so 10 and 20 i am assigning from here now next what i am going to do is so here let's take let result so i'm declaring in variable and here what i am going to do component dot student result 
and from here like what I'm expecting and dot equal and here in that case what we are expecting we are expecting three so here basically what i am going to do is like we are calling this student result method and here what we are doing so internally we are passing 10 and 20 is greater than 40 then if it is uh, then pass otherwise fail but here what we are doing we are like we are calling this calculate method directly and based on that like what we are passing those value so in that case what it should be basically like if we are passing 10 and 20 then it's less than 40 so it should be fail so means this test case should pass and here we can see 4 succeed and if, if you will go here this method is passing because this test case is basically failing so here we can see it is passing successfully now what if i will do like if i will make it as a 40 now 40 plus 20 how how it is it is basically 60 so in that case this test case should fail and here instead of 4 it should say 3 succeed and 1 fail so this is the way like we can uh, like return the value for a particular method we can return the value while passing from here and we can see the same as expected and here if you will go this pass to equal fail what it is trying to say is basically it should be pass so this is the way uh, like we can return the value for a particular method using the spiral now next what i am going to do let's make it two now we will call the api method which we declared here so for that one first what we have to do let's get rid of this code and here let service i'm creating this object and fixture dot debug element dot injector dot get and inside this one we have to give the our service name so student service so this is the way what we are doing we are injecting the service basically we are creating an object of that particular service now we have to do spy on over this service object and then what we have to do we have to give the method name like that particular method name so service method name we are having save details and remember here just http method should be public so it will be accessible everywhere so this is student details now what if i will do student details one we can see we are uh, fine like we are getting a compilation error so it understand like which method you are calling now after calling a method what we have to do we can't call this api url because it will hit our api and can affect our data so what we have to do we have to make a fake call so call fake and inside this one what we have to do we have to assign some value so what we have to do this api will return and inside this one what we have to do we have to assign some value so let's take result one and i'm assigning some value like it is returning this 200 from here now after assigning like so like what we have done like we are faking it that method and what we are expecting this method is basically returning some value and that is the 200 now here let's call component dot save data so basically this method if you will go this save data is this method because this method will call this particular api now here we have called it now what we we have to expect so basically we have to expect component and this component dot result because whatever the api will return we are assigning into the 
result so here the response we are assigning to the result so now from this api what response we have given we have given result 1 200 so this result we have given so what we are expecting this result dot to equal and what it will be it will be the same which we have this one so now let's save it and once we'll save it then what we have to do like this test scale should pass so now let's and this test case name we have given as a spy method 2 and let's go on the browser and we can see our test case is passing so this is the way we can use the spy on in the different manner now here like uh, we are calling this method if i want to call that particular like here what what we are doing this save data into console so if i want to stub on that particular method then what we can do like i can copy because using the spy on only we can do so service uh, this not save details so basically what we have to do because that is the component method so component now inside this one what we have to do let's copy this save data into console dot and here like what we have to do so and dot stub like so what stub like whatever you are doing it will not care like what you do so in that case also we can use the stub so let's if you will go on the browser like we, we can see it is passing again so this is the way we use the spy on or stub or we return the value for a particular method in the angular unit test case so that's it for this video if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you